Among the different uh, characteristics of human language, duality is one. It means that we communicate at two levels, right? So it's double articulation. At physical level, uh, we can produce individual sound. For example, individual sound b, a, n. These are individual sound. We come on to letters a, b, c, d. They are individual sound, right? So at one level, these are individual sounds. And they don't have any meaning. But when we use them in combination, in clusters, we get another level which has meaning. So as individual sound, none of these discrete forms has uh, meaning. B does not have any meaning. A does not have any meaning. A is the sound of I. And N or N does not have any meaning. At one level, we have distinct sound. At another level, we have distinct meaning. For example, if we join these three sounds, three words, three, uh, sorry, three letters, right, and make it B, A, N, so it becomes bin. So now, bin has a certain meaning, right? Similarly, if we alter these words and make N, A, and B, we get another word which has a meaning. So, that's why we say that human language has these two levels. At one level, the sounds are discrete and they do not have any meaning. At another level, they, they form groups and these groups have meaning. So, duality of levels is one of the most economical feature of human language. You just imagine that with, with a very small number of sounds, right, uh, we just twist them, we just form different groups of sound, and we have a, lo a lot of vocabulary. Almost, uh, if we talk about English language, we can say very safely that there are more than one million words. And every year, so almost 1,000 words are being added to it. So, you can imagine with just 44 sound in RP di dialect or in BBC dialect, we make a lot of words. And there are certain other dialects of English language and there are fewer sounds and they make the same uh, uh, number of words. So this is one of the very economical feature of human language. Among other creatures, each communicative signal appears to be a single fixed form and that cannot be broken down into a separate part. So let's uh, take uh, the roar of a lion, the barking of a, of a dog, or the uh, or any other sound right these are fixed forms even if we say that for a, a certain chimp has a certain number of uh, sound or a certain bird has a number certain number of uh, calls but these calls are fixed one call may have one meaning but it cannot have a different meaning and we cannot uh, uh, we cannot uh, sque uh, uh, we cannot separate the uh, these these calls into different segments as we separate a word into different sound segments. So, woof of a dog, for example, if we take woof, it's a call of a dog, sound of a dog, right? If it is say, I'm hungry or I'm happy. We cannot do that. We cannot slice these into w, u, and f, and then use it to make different sound like oof, like woof, foo. This is not possible that we can do this or uh, not only with this uh, very call of uh, the dog or uh, other calls of uh, uh, other animals. They are fixed. For example, uh, they do not give us uh, this facility. So, on the basis of this, we say that animals do not have this characteristic of duality. So, double level such as oof and uh, woof are not possible. It is only among human beings and it is only the characteristic of human language in which we can use double articulation. One for the discrete sounds and Two, for the meaning of the 
uh, combination of sounds.